All right then, gang, so we have our modal now, which opens and closes, but there is a problem, and that's that if we click on the modal itself in the white section, it still closes the modal. Now, I don't want that to happen. I only want to close the modal if a user clicks on this faded background, the backdrop, not on this. So if they click this, it closes, but if they click the white, it doesn't. So we're gonna solve this problem by using what's known as an event modifier. Now, event modifiers are basically modifiers that we can tack on to the end of events on certain elements. And there's several different types of event modifiers. Some of the more common ones are once, which means that the event can only fire once, and after it's fired, it removes the handler from that event. We'll see that shortly. Prevent default, which prevents the default action. For example, if it was a form and you clicked submit, the default action is to refresh the page, but it's gonna prevent that default action if we tack on this event modifier, prevent default, or self, which only fires the event if the clicked element is the target. Now, that's the one that we want to use for our backdrop right here. And by the way, there are others there's more event modifiers, but these are just some of the more common ones. But if you check out the docs, you can see a list of all of them. I think there's about six in total. So what I'm going to do is use this self event modifier on this thing right here. So we can do that by just saying pipe and then the event modifier we want to use, which is self. And that means only when you click on this div and this div is the event target, will this click event fire? So if we click on this, because this div is not the target, then it won't fire because only now when we click on this itself will it fire. So that's a nice, easy way to solve this problem that we had. So if I save that now and come over here and open the model, now if we click on the white section, it doesn't close. Hallelujah. But if we click on this section over here, it does close because that is the target that we're clicking on, right? So that's one event modifier. Let's look at another. So if we go to app.svelte, I'm gonna use the once modifier and I'm gonna use it on the button which we use to open the modal. So on click and then before we assign it any kind of handler, we use our pipe symbol and then we say once, which is the once event modifier. And that means that this event is only gonna trigger once. So we'll click it it invokes this function. And then if we try to click it again in the future, it's not gonna work because once this has fired the first time, it removes this reference to the event handler. So it's not gonna do anything a second or third or fourth time. So if I save this now and come over here and open the model, it works. We can close it as well. But if we try to open it again, now it's not gonna work because we said here, we only want this to fire once. Now, like I said, there are other event modifiers that you can use, and we are gonna use probably other event modifiers in the future. I just wanted to introduce them here in this video, and if you wanna learn more about them, definitely check out the documentation. There's a big list of the different modifiers and what they do there.